welcome and thank you so much for stopping by this momentous episode, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and it's true. In today's episode, we will finally max out the giant gauntlet to level 27, the first epic piece of hero equipment. And of course, we will tally up the total amount that we spent to get there because, well, um... Yeah, we, we were not very patient. We went ahead, spent gems, bought packages, bought ore. In fact, I would say this was possibly the most expeditious yet fundamentally frugal way <laughs> that makes no sense. But what I'm trying to say is we were efficient with this and I tried to save money. I didn't want to just gem it all the way and spend like six or seven hundred dollars to max out a piece of equipment when I'm not even a competitive player. It, it actually makes no sense to do any of this, but hey, you know what also doesn't make any sense? Making purchases in Clash of Clans without an active creator code like I just did. So if you've ever accidentally done that, consider yourself forgiven because I just did it to myself. If you would consider, however, using creator code Galadon, it goes a long way to help keeping this aging Clash of Clans channel alive. It's true, I probably am the oldest Clash of Clans content creator, and this is the oldest Clash of Clans content focused YouTube channel in the known universe. And we will continue Gem to Max just as long as it is physically, financially, and fiduciarily I don't even think that's a word possible, but you get the point, right? Okay, let's move on. So we bought a bunch of packages today. We're also, of course, buying any packages that involve runes or wall rings because we are preparing for the rest of Town Hall 16. No doubt, it's coming. It's around the corner. More walls, more defenses are going to be upgraded, possibly combined. We don't know yet, but definitely things like monoliths and Teslas are going to be getting new levels especially when people keep complaining about how strong offense is at Town Hall 16. So showing off my current magic item storage, looking pretty good, pretty proud of that. Uh, you know what? There's also other things to be proud of strategically in Clash of Clans. How about three-starring the number one base on the opposing side? Now, I think I shared this attack in a recent episode. If you missed it, make sure you go check it out. But we picked up some nice ore bonus from that war as well. And we're using the ore bonuses from the wars, from CWLs, and of course, getting that daily star bonus in Legend League. But of course, if you've also watched the other videos, I've been spamming this ridiculous army and then quitting. That essentially saving myself some time by dropping this entire army and then walking away. And this has had... I would say, I, I was going to say mixed results, but I wouldn't say mixed. I would say this is going really, really well, except for the occasional death ball town hall in the core of the base. If you quit that early, you can't always expect to get through with three stars, but there's two attacks right there. 90% and 100% a three star, and this is at a relatively respectable 53 to 5500 trophy range right now so we're starting to see a lot more of these nearly maxed out bases with the combined defenses but it doesn't matter the way offense stands right now spam and quit seems to work out pretty well and of course the barbarian king's gauntlet right there i believe these attacks it was at level 23 like I said, we're about to go all the way to level 27. Now, of course, this is part of a series, the Gem or Grind series, where we spend a combination of gems, real money, and just simply time making these upgrades. And this is only the first piece of epic equipment. Not long after this video comes out, there's probably going to be another piece. And then, of course, there's several other pieces that we haven't even got to max level yet. I decided... Just because it's a little more exciting, we would focus on getting to 27 first. And here we go with the final level that is going to cost us, well, uh, oh, this, oh man, that that's nearly 50 bucks, $50 in gems. And obviously we already had a bunch of the ore saved up. So Lord knows how much that would be if you didn't have the ore saved up at all. But yes, of course, the weekly deals, the trader brings out the ores that you can spend, uh, I think it's 1,325 gems per week if you want to buy all of the starry, glowy, and shiny ore that the trader offers. And we will take this into account at the end of today's episode when we tally up the total cost for getting this giant gauntlet 
to level 27, which we are going to finally do even though we are short nearly 100 starry ore. And remember, one piece of starry ore, 35 gems. But we're here, we have done it. 60% damage reduction and 17 seconds of ability duration. That is crazy. Now let's talk about this ever so brief journey that we took or at least more brief than I anticipated to max out this giant gauntlet. So to level 15 free, 16, 17, 18 free, we finally broke down and spent gems at level 19. Level 20 was free, level 21, another 1,075 gems. And then levels 22, three, four, five, and six didn't cost a thing, asterisk, we'll get to that in just a moment. And then finally, 3,649 gems at level 27. Seems cheap, right? Okay, we have to add up all of the costs in order to get a true total giant gauntlet cost. And that means, now of course, the gems for those levels, 6,865. But also, we spent the weekly deals gems three times, a total of 3,975 gems, for a grand total of 10,840 gems, which would cost about $77. And then those packages we purchased at the beginning of today's video were $11.96. So in addition to the time that we spent farming the ore, we also spent $81.96, which is an absolute bargain considering if we had just straight spent gems to go from levels 15 to 27, it would have been 63,300 gems spent or about $452 worth of gems. Now, technically, we are still at the beginning of our max hero equipment journey. There's so much left to be leveled, including all of the royal champion equipment. We've got the healing tome. I haven't even begun on the giant arrow. And what about that frost arrow we talked about? That's coming. And oh man, it really has become quite a struggle for free to play or nearly free to play players. The ore, I can understand everybody's complaints, but it does make this hero equipment seem that much cooler and unfortunately out of reach for many, many months, perhaps years. For the average player let me know what you think down in the comments that i always read thank you for joining me on this youtube journey and sticking around all the way to the end of the episode now get out there make the best of the rest of your day week month and year be kind to other people animals and the planet and i hope to see all of you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks Gallivon, Gallivon, are you saying that during your episode today your equipment got bigger hmm?